As you all know, my husband John passed away two days ago on Friday, so it's sort of, um, it's going to take time for me to get better. Obviously, I'm going to have to talk to a counselor to get me through this. John passed away on Friday morning, and I happen to know one of his things that John often liked was griddle cakes, pancakes with blueberries in it. So, um, we're going to make him uh, blueberry pancakes today. If he was here, obviously, he would eat it, but, you know, he's not here, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of a hard spell for all of us, um, you know, we just have to get through this as best as we can, you know, you lose somebody, but folks, I have to tell you one thing, the last thing I ever said to John was, I love you, and he said the same thing back to me, sorry folks, that he loved me too, and it was, I'm really kind of glad I said those words to him, because that's the last thing that I actually said to him when he was alive, which was the night before, so I'm going to make a delicious blueberry pancakes in honor of John, and we all miss you John so much. One cup of uh, flour, I'm make, also adding in baking powder. I'm adding in um, three teaspoons of baking powder. You know, it's really something, a person is alive and the next thing they're gone. It's just, always remember one thing, folks. Always say to your spouse that you love them. You have a fight with them. Just say you're sorry, and you know, you, can, you don't want to live with the guilt, believe me. I'm really glad I spent the whole day with John on Thursday. And I knew at that point he was not looking very good. I knew something was definitely not right. Tablespoon of sugar. I'm going to mix it dry together. I'm going to add in the milk. One cup of milk. It's all natural ingredients. It's what I really recommend you folks eating, because John had a lot of health issues, but really bad. Very bad eating. Okay, let's get this off. I'm adding three tablespoons of butter, unsalted. One egg. We're going to mix this together. Folks, I'm going to be okay. It's just going to take me time. Tamara, you want blueberries, yes or no? Okay. All right. Give you yours first, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the batter onto the griddle. Yes, like I was saying before, it's very important, folks, that you say you love your spouse, your boyfriend, anything, because you don't know what the next day can bring. I mean, John was alive the day before, obviously. Now I'm going to add some blueberries on top of the, pan, of the batter that's cooked. It's going to take a minute, so you want it to be nice and bubbly. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful blueberry pancake. I know John would have loved this. I went to visit him every single day since he was hospitalized about three weeks ago, and he was transferred over to rehab, and obviously, you know, so many things wrong with him that they couldn't even help him, which is really sad. But we're going to let this cook for another minute or so, we want to make sure it's done. And folks, here we have, in honor of my husband John, who left us two days ago to go to heaven. And it's like I said, folks, when you go to bed with your spouse at night, boyfriend, just tell them, to, let them know that you love them, because... I was so glad I said those words. Believe me, that was the last thing I ever said to John. And this is his, one of his favorite meals. And to honor John from Devoy's Home Country, you can have a great time to on one of the YouTube channels.